For the first time in more than 20 years, Chicago has a new mayor. Hey buddy, watch it. In a mayoral race with tons of drama, Rahm was on the ballot, then off the ballot, then on the ballot again because of his debated residency issue since he moved to Washington, D.C. to become President Barack Obama's chief of staff. That bump in the road was resolved in January in the Illinois Supreme Court. Everybody can say whatever they want about me personally or whatever. Focus on the issues. Focus on what's going to turn this city around and make it a better city for all our people. Thank you. Emmanuel succeeds Mayor Richard Daley, who has been in office since 1989. His father, Mayor Richard J. Daley, was mayor from 1955 to 1976 and is thought of as the last of the big city bosses. This city bears his imprint. And he has earned a special place in our hearts and our history. Voter turnout was expected to be lower because of snowy and icy conditions in Chicago. Rahm needed over 50% to firm up the ticket. If not, Chicago was headed into a political runoff that would have ended in another election on April 5th. We have not won anything until a kid can go to school thinking of their studies and not their safety. But Rahm, I've worked with him. I've worked with him over the course of 30 years. I worked with him in the White House. He's a guy who gets the job done. He's a determined, smart, incisive leader, and that's what the city needs. Loaded with a $12 million war chest, the campaign seemed to take it all in stride, even battling off challenges by the Reverend Jesse Jackson and other black leaders who tried to get the city's significant African-American vote behind candidate Carol Mosley Braun. We need to set Chicago on the right course for the future, with a budget that is balanced and a playing field that is fair. Rahm Emanuel faces a massive budget crisis, a city ridden with gang problems, and a school system in desperate need of reform. He takes the oath of office on May 16th. Because of the people of Chicago, this is the warmest place in America. Robert Ray, Associated Press, Chicago.